<laughs> hey, bro, thank you for joining. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, man. This is a special moment, special, you know, point in time for us here at uh, No Cap Undrafted. Um, the man, the myth, the legend, the boy of the year, former Premiership winner, the, the trigger to Penrith's successful season. Up your Coruscant, thanks for joining us, man. I really appreciate your time. Privileged to have you on. Thank you guys for having me. Cheers, boys. No, no, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it a lot. Um, I know there's a big game coming up this week, and um, you know, it, uh, look, I wouldn't have if you said no. Like I said, it wouldn't have mattered. But man, it's a big thing for us. So again, really appreciate it. Um, bro, how, how are you feeling going into this week, you and the boys? Yeah, it's um, it's a hard one to sort of comment on uh, about the other lads, but um, yeah, for myself, I guess I'm just trying to treat it like another week. Uh, we've been pretty consistent over the last fifteen or so weeks, so um, I think it'd be silly to start changing things up now. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm just trying to go about my week like I usually do, uh, keep it as as calm as possible uh, for as long as I can, and then uh, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how this weekend goes. Yeah, man. Uh, Roosters, I know, I know they're coming off a really tough loss, but, man, you know they're going to come back firing. Um, I'm sure your boys are up for it. Um, but when you came back to Penrith, did you think this team was capable straight off the bat or did you think it might take a few years? Uh, to be honest, I didn't have uh, too many expectations on the, the result um, of where we we're going to finish on the ladder or how we we're going to do in the year. Um, most of it was just wanting to, to come in and play my best footy, uh, do what I could for the team. And, um, you know, they they sort of needed a couple of leaders, I guess. I'm um, really young pack at uh, this club. So, um, you know, I really just wanted to sort of lead by example as well when I got in. So, um, yeah, I didn't have too much expectation on the actual footy itself uh, of the team. But, um, like I said, I just knew that they had so much potential, uh, this young team. And, you know, I'm just like, I'm really grateful. Um, you know, I'm really proud of the boys of, of where we ended up and how we finished up. So, um, you know, to, to go into this final series the way we are, you know, it feels pretty good. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's it's unbelievable what you've achieved, man. I think one loss the whole season. Um, it's never been done for about 60 years. So, that's something very special you've achieved. Um, speaking of being a leader, um, how have you taken that on board this year? I know you're only 27 and, you know, you're probably one of the vets there. But um, you're an old, you're an old fella now. Um, but now, in all honesty, how have you taken that on board, being a leader? Yeah, mate. I, I don't know, I'm 27, but <clears throat> I feel like I'm an old man. You know, around <laughs> these kids, we got um, we got 19 year olds, and you know, there's 20 year olds running around the park playing first grade man, and absolutely killing it. You know, I was, you know, still playing, you know. 20s back then, doing nothing, you know, didn't really have too many goals in life, but, um, you know, to be a, be around with these, these bunch of boys, man, honestly, it feels amazing, um, you know, to, to be, like you said, one of the older heads um, and try and lead by example, really, I really took it on board, um, I knew that was one of my goals is, was to do exactly that and, um, you know, I'm just hoping that, you know, I was able to provide uh, some of these people with uh, with some experience and, you know, just sort of, like I said, like leading by example, hopefully showed them a few things. So, um, yeah, I really, really relish the, the challenge. Uh, I think it's evident, man, because it's a credit to you and the other older boys there. I think those boys have taken whatever you've brought to the team on board and they've really matured, not only, you know, maybe on the field, but off the field as well. I think they take those lessons from you guys. Um, really good, good role models for those boys. Um, do you see any similarities? You're talking about, you know, that young group. You're seeing similarities to the, from, you know, this group in 2014, back when you won the premiership at South. Yeah, man. I've been asked this question a few times, eh? And I, um, I, um, I've said the, the same thing. Like, I just, the young guys in the team at the time um, were just performing. Like, we had our superstars and our big guns, you know, G.I., Sam Burgess, Johnny Sun, Ben Teo, you know, they were all, all superstars at the time and killing it. And then, um, you know, we had guys that had either been playing their first year of first grade or have only played, you know, a couple of games a year before. And, you know, there was Alex Johnson, Luke Keary, Kyle Turner, Kirisomi Alvaha. And it was just, that's what I mean by just the young guys were able to do such a massive job 
and um, you know actually have really great years. Um, and that's probably the biggest similarity between the two. Um, in terms of age, this this team is I think yeah the second youngest in the comp uh, at the at the moment. But um, yeah, just just to see the things that they can produce, you know what I mean? It's, it's incredible. So um, I'm hoping we can get the same sort of uh, production in these finals rounds, which I'm pretty confident we will. Yeah, I think the, the that's what's evident, man, as well. The confidence in the team, man. I think it's 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 undeniable. I mean, it could I could ask you if you're feeling the pressure, but I think those boys don't feel nothing. I mean, they take every challenge on board and and they keep going every week, answering every challenge. Um, it's unbelievable. Um, just last one. Um, which player do you think this season, from your perspective, because um, obviously you're there the whole time. Um, who's impressed you the most? Maybe in terms of taking their game to that next level. Oh. I was, it, was, it was pretty hard because I didn't. I wasn't here last year, so I wasn't mm. I'm not too sure of how they were going last year. But um, from the start of the season to now, yeah. I think um, Jerome Law. He's yeah. um, you know, for me, he's just he's just leveled up every single round this year. Um, you know, I think at the start of the year, nobody really seen him as a true five eight, uh, more just as someone who had that X factor. Um, didn't think they could. He could have that sort of controlled side of his game, but um, yeah, the amount of you know line drop outs he's forced, the amount of try assists, you know, he's just controlling his edge, his defense. Um, yeah, if there's yeah one person in our team, I, I, I think it's him. I think, sure. I think everyone agrees, man. Completely agree. I mean, he's unbelievable. Um, he's been he's been killing it for you guys, and he's been so crucial to your success this year. Um, bro, I appreciate your time, man. Um, thank you very much. Um, I know. Big game ahead coming up against the Roosters. All the best to you and the boys. Um, I want to pass it over to Bass, man. Thank you, bro. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, brother.